surrealism and nature, distorted ecologies. In the realm of artistic movements, surrealism stands as a unique and captivating exploration of the human subconscious. Emerging in the early 20th century as a response to the aftermath of World War I and the dawning of a new era of psychology, surrealism sought to bridge the gap between reality and the imagination. At its core, surrealism aimed to unearth the hidden recesses of the mind, revealing a world where dreams, desires, and fears converge. Amid this exploration, the relationship between surrealism and nature took center stage, birthing a concept known as distorted ecologies. This article delves into the intriguing intersection of surrealism and nature, unveiling how artists distorted natural landscapes to mirror the complexities of the human psyche. Surrealism Unveiled, a brief overview. Surrealism as a movement emerged in the wake of the devastating World War I, when the societal landscape was rife with disillusionment and a yearning for meaning. Surrealists sought to transcend the boundaries of rational thought and tap into the unconscious mind, which was believed to hold hidden truths and unexplored depths. Nature in Surrealism, a Distorted Lens Nature, with its organic beauty and intricate complexity, provided Surrealists with a rich canvas upon which to explore their subconscious landscapes. However, rather than merely replicating nature, Surrealist artists chose to distort it, creating environments that defied the laws of physics and logic. This distortion was not a rejection of nature, but rather a reflection of the inner workings of the human mind, a chaotic realm of conflicting emotions, desires, and thoughts. Distorted Ecologies, Unveiling the Unconscious At the heart of the surrealist approach to nature lay the concept of distorted ecologies. This term encapsulates the idea of creating landscapes that are both familiar and alien, simultaneously enchanting and unsettling. Artists achieve this by manipulating proportions, altering spatial relationships, and combining disparate elements to form dreamlike worlds. In these distorted ecologies, trees might morph into humanoid figures, animals could take on surreal proportions, and the laws of gravity were mere suggestions. Salvador Dali master of the surreal landscape. Salvador Dali, one of the most iconic surrealist artists, exemplified the distorted ecologies concept in his works. In his famous painting The Persistence of Memory, time appears to melt like the clocks strewn across a barren landscape. This distortion of time reflects the fluid nature of memory and the uncanny sensation that time itself is a malleable construct within the human psyche. Dolly's landscapes often merge the ordinary and the extraordinary, evoking a sense of both wonder and unease. René Magritte, Challenging Perception René Magritte, another luminary of surrealism, engaged with nature in his distinctive style. In The Son of Man, he depicts a man in a bowler hat with his face obscured by a hovering green apple. The juxtaposition of the ordinary attire and the peculiar obstruction challenges our perceptions, inviting us to question the truth behind appearances. Magritte's manipulation of nature prompts viewers to consider the veiled aspects of reality and the layers of meaning that lie beneath the surface. Max Ernst, The Alchemical Landscape Max Ernst delved into the realm of distorted ecologies through his unique approach known as frottage. This technique involved placing paper over textured surfaces and rubbing it with graphite to create unpredictable patterns. Ernst's work The Whole City exemplifies his alchemical manipulation of nature. The cityscape, composed of fused organic forms, transcends the boundaries of the urban and the natural, suggesting an underlying interconnectedness between the two. This blurred line between human-made and natural environments reflects the intricate relationship between the conscious and unconscious mind. Beyond art, surrealism's impact on environmental awareness. While surrealism was primarily an artistic movement, its exploration of distorted ecologies resonated with broader societal discussions about the environment and humanity's relationship with nature. As the world underwent rapid industrialization and urbanization, concerns about ecological disruption and the loss of natural landscapes began to surface. 
Surrealism's distorted ecologies can be seen as a response to these shifts, a visual representation of the increasingly complex and distorted relationship between humans and the environment. Conclusion, Unveiling the Depths Surrealism's distorted ecologies served as a visual bridge between the conscious and the subconscious, the rational and the irrational, and the natural and the distorted. By distorting nature, surrealist artists tapped into the hidden realms of the human psyche, revealing landscapes that mirrored the intricacies of the mind. Through their art, they challenged perceptions, invited introspection, and sparked conversations about the blurred boundaries between humanity and nature. As we reflect on surrealism's legacy, we are reminded that the distortion of nature in art can be a potent tool for examining our relationship with the environment. Beyond Aesthetics, Environmental Reflections The impact of surrealism's distorted ecologies extended beyond the confines of the art world, leaving an indelible mark on environmental awareness. As industrialization progressed and urban landscapes expanded, concerns about ecological imbalances and the diminishing natural world intensified. Surrealism's portrayal of distorted ecologies echoed these anxieties, serving as a visual metaphor for the unsettling transformation occurring in the real world. Surrealist artworks challenge the viewer to confront the fragility of the environment and the human impact on it. The fusion of organic and inorganic elements in these artworks seem to reflect the increasing encroachment of urban structures upon pristine landscapes. Catalysts for Environmental Dialogue Surrealism's distorted ecologies acted as catalysts for conversations about the environment and humanity's role within it. These artworks urged viewers to question their own perceptions and assumptions, much like how society was being prompted to question the unchecked exploitation of natural resources. The jarring juxtaposition of recognizable elements in distorted forms forced audiences to confront the distorted ecological realities around them. By challenging traditional notions of reality and aesthetics, surrealism opened a space for discussions about conservation, environmental ethics, and the consequences of environmental degradation. The uncanny landscapes depicted in these artworks served as reminders that nature, once taken for granted, was rapidly changing due to human actions. In this sense, surrealism's impact on the environmental dialogue was not just aesthetic, but deeply thought-provoking and transformative. Modern Echoes, Art and Eco-Consciousness in the present day, the echoes of surrealism's distorted ecologies can be observed in the works of contemporary artists who tackle environmental issues. The urgency of climate change, the depletion of biodiversity, and the consequences of unchecked development have inspired artists to channel the spirit of surrealism in their creations. These artists use distorted ecologies to convey the complexity of our modern relationship with the environment and to challenge viewers to reconsider their attitudes and behaviors. Digital art, mixed media, and installations now offer new avenues for artists to explore the concept of distorted ecologies. These mediums allow for even more intricate and immersive depictions of the environmental challenges we face. The use of technology and multimedia in modern artworks mirrors the interconnectedness of the modern world, where the effects of human actions are felt on a global scale. Conclusion, Reflections of a Shifting Landscape Surrealism's exploration of distorted ecologies goes beyond artistic technique, it serves as a profound reflection of the evolving relationship between humanity and nature. These distorted ecologies compel us to question our perceptions, challenge our assumptions, and confront the implications of our actions.